What's going on guys? In today's video we are going to be talking about hockey jerseys. As you can see, I have a few of them. I have a pretty unique collection and I kind of want to share it with you guys. I want to share how I get my jerseys for so cheap. I got that Adidas authentic Connor McDavid jersey for under a hundred dollars US. So I get people asking me all the time whenever I post a Snapchat or I post a picture on Twitter, oh just picked up this jersey for 59 bucks or this one for 39. How do I get them for so cheap? I got five ways. I got five different websites and different things you can do to get jerseys for cheap. Now before I tell you how I get them for so cheap, let's show you what I got for so cheap. So in the description of this video, I'm gonna be completely transparent. There's a Google Docs sheet with every single purchase I've made. I think I'm up to 32 jerseys. In that Google Doc, it shows the price, it shows where I purchased it from, the type of jersey, the size. So I'm being completely transparent and 100% honest on how much I paid for it. So let's have a look at the collection I have. It's pretty unique and then I'll show you guys how I get them for so cheap. I also got to show you guys my beer league jerseys. Damn, those are nice. The Screaming Beavers and the Stags. So here's my current jersey collection. I'll go from top and then I'll go to the bottom here. Obviously, I'm going to explain more of them in the video, but as you can see, I am a Canucks fan, so I have a decent amount of Canucks jerseys. That's an autographed Horvat jersey, and funny story, that jersey was off Craigslist, and it's actually signed by Cody Hodgson, which is kind of strange, but it does have the fight strap, that Daniel Sedin jersey. Uh, super cool Dan Cloutier jersey that I will have a story about. Paul Correa, Timu Solani, this holy grail Connor McDavid sweater, uh, this Leon Drysaddle jersey, let's pull it down here. It's actually a pretty funny one. Um, obviously he never wore this jersey. On Twitter a couple years ago when the Oilers made the playoffs, I made a joke. I said if Leon Drysaddle gets a hat trick, I will order a jersey foul. Well, long story short, he got a hat trick and now I have this weird Reebok Leon Drysaddle jersey from 2006. Got a Peter Forsberg sweater there. We got a fake Crosby jersey, which I'll talk about. Ray Bork, Sidney Crosby. So my grandma got me that, not knowing it was a fake. My parents got me the exact same one for Christmas, a legitimate Crosby jersey, and my grandma paid more for the fake than my parents did for the real one. So my grandma got hustled. She didn't really know any better. Tavares, Tavares, Peter Sikora, Thomas Vanek, Danny Heatley. That's a, that's a throwback jersey right there with the old Ottawa Senators logo on the front. Kovachuk, Marty St. Louis, Vasilevsky. Here's my Buffalo wall. Uh, just cheap jerseys I've been finding. Danny Breer. Uh, we got John LeClaire there, which is a Nike jersey, which is pretty sick. Thomas Vanek, Orpik, and Nicholas Backstrom. So there it is. I'm pretty much maxed out for space. Let's hop into the video. Let's go. So I like to refer to myself as a budget collector. I don't have a million dollars, I'm not rich. I do this hobby for fun. Yes, it's expensive, but if you know where to shop, how to shop, how to shop for the best deals, you can have quite the collection without breaking the bank. I'm a budget jersey collector, and I think it's kind of fun because you find some cool jerseys along the way without really breaking the bank. Now, I started collecting jerseys at a very interesting time when Adidas was coming into the NHL and Reeboks were on their way out. So when I started, there was tons of sites blowing out Reebok jerseys. Now I got this Luongo Reebok jersey, I believe for 60 bucks, which is really, really cheap. I think it was 59 bucks. Now most sites have all the Reebok jerseys cleared out. However, there is still some sites out there if you search enough. At the time the jerseys were flying out, there's still some sites that have the Reebok jerseys. These are Reebok replicas, obviously, and I got a ton of them from coolhockey.com, which is a great website. Uh, they're awesome, their social media is great, their customer support's awesome, and they have pretty decent prices on customization and Adidas jerseys if you want to check them out. Their link is in the description along with every other site and every other method I'm going to share with you. Now method number two is going to be traded players. Now I know John Tavares is a Maple Leaf, you don't got to spam it in the comments, but obviously John Tavares no longer with the Islanders. I picked this jersey up for under $55, that's Canadian, so that's what? like basically free for Americans I got this for so cheap so when a player gets traded or when a player signs with a different team websites want to blow that jersey out it doesn't make any sense for them to have a player who doesn't play on that team they want to get the latest and greatest so you can see that original 225 I got it for under $53 for example Jeff Skinner just got dealt so I guarantee you can find some cheap Jeff Skinner Carolina Hurricanes jerseys those will look pretty damn good in your collection next is a very very fun way to find jerseys 
jerseys. That is through local Craigslist, local Kijiji, local Facebook groups, buy sell groups, whatever you can find in your community. Look up hockey jersey because you never know what you're going to find. I found this retro Dan Cluche. This is circa 2003. This is an autographed jersey, never been worn. The guy wanted $25 for it. Initially, I thought it was fake, so I didn't even think twice about it. I looked at it again and I was like, damn, that looks really good. I was at work while I was looking at this jersey. This guy delivered it to my work for $25. And when he got there, this guy was like 112 years old. And I noticed it had the original tag and the original date, which was November 2nd of 2003. This guy said he had it in a storage locker since then. He won it at a charity golf tournament. This thing has never been worn. That guy did not know what he had. $25 for this. I could put this on eBay and quadruple my money in a sec. There's also a Jersey Collector Facebook group. Link in the description. This guy wanted 89 bucks for this. I PayPal'd it to him and he shipped it to me the next day. It is a Paul Korea Nashville jersey. Really nice. From the exact same guy, I also picked up this Mighty Ducks Timu Solani jersey, which was on my list of jerseys to eventually get. I'm so stoked that I got this one. Mighty Ducks, I paid a little bit more than what I wanted to pay. I paid 130 for it, uh, but in my opinion, well worth it. Now my favorite way to get jerseys for absolutely dirt cheap is through eBay, and that is through one seller in particular, and that is Full Moon Jerseys. Again, link in the description. It was kind of like a hidden secret, but now it's starting to get out there. So many jerseys, so cheap, and they're brand new. I just ordered a Ryan Miller jersey today. It came in the package with the tags on just like every other jersey I've purchased from Full Moon. They're all replica jerseys and they're nice stitched. They're awesome quality and they're crazy cheap. I paid 39 bucks for this. The most I've ever spent on Full Moon was 60 bucks and that's for a John Tavares Reebok jersey and even then that's a fantastic deal. So Full Moon jerseys is legit and they're awesome. Now the other side to eBay is through private sellers. Today I missed out on a Sergei Fedorov jersey that ended at like $37. I wish I could have been there to bid. I was busy at work, but that's the kind of stuff you can find on eBay. If you are in the right place at the right time, you can find unbelievable steals. I got this Tim Connolly Maple Leafs legend. Uh, I got this Tim Connolly Buffalo Sabres jersey for $27 very very cheap for a jersey under 30 bucks to add to your collection why wouldn't you do that now it was from a private seller so i got that on auction very very cheap now if you're gonna buy from private sellers you have to know that it is buyer beware now i picked up this peter sakura jersey it was a jersey that i wanted for a long time peter sakura was one of my favorite players growing up so i had to have it now unfortunately when it arrived it wasn't in the same condition as it said in the pictures and in the listing as you can see a little bit of the crest is actually coming off. So most of the time eBay sellers will be really cool about it. They'll either give you a full refund or they'll like give you some sort of cash back. So he ended up giving me half my money back because aside from that the jersey's in mint condition. That was a bit of a piss off but for me it wasn't that big of a deal because it hangs on the wall like that anyways. But it is buyer beware. Sometimes you could buy a jersey and maybe it comes from a house that they smoke in the house and the jersey stinks or whatever but I've bought quite a few jerseys from private sellers and this was the only one that had that issue. But for me it wasn't a crazy deal. Now for the crown jewel, my Connor McDavid authentic Adidas jersey with the fight strap. It's heavier than most jerseys. It's not a replica. It's the real McCoy. It's the real deal. This jersey is about 300 bucks everywhere else that you shop, maybe even a little bit more, especially for a uh, brand new Adidas. Now my buddy Dylan messaged me. He says, hey, this guy has these jerseys up for stupid cheap. There was an option to offer best offer. I offered this guy $120 Canadian which is just under a hundred dollars American and he said yes I don't know if this guy stole the jerseys or he needed to make quick cash right away Dylan got one I got the other for under a hundred dollars American I picked myself up an authentic Adidas Connor McDavid again I don't know if that guy just needed some quick money or he stole the jerseys or whatever but that's the kind of stuff you can find with private sellers I, this was the steal of the century I can't believe I got that for so cheap 120 bucks Canadian. That's insane. Again, I could put this up on eBay and maybe double my money. Now there's one more way you can try to find deals or steals and that is going to be with local thrift shops. Whether it's your
your mom and pa thrift shop down the street or it's like value village or goodwill or something like that i have yet to find any steals except for this youth size steven stamkos jersey it was like four dollars and it's not a fake it's the real deal but it's a youth extra large i mean it's just kind of cool to have but what am I gonna do with the youth jersey? But also, what am I gonna do with four bucks? So. There's a few things you should know before going into this. Do not buy fake jerseys. Fake jerseys are everywhere. They're cheap Chinese knockoffs. They're not good. In the description is a video. It's going to be from my buddy Dylan, who's gonna compare a real authentic and a real replica to a fake Chinese knockoff piece of crap jersey. Do not buy knockoffs. It's not worth it. It just doesn't look good. You're gonna be laughed at when you go to hockey games not a good look. So that's that. I hope I saved you guys some money in the long run because initially when I started I was like oh man this is gonna cost me a million dollars because I bought that Jake Vertanen jersey brand new from the Canucks store for $200 and I really wish I didn't do that but I did. I was stupid and I was like how am I gonna have a jersey collection that's gonna absolutely break me but if you wait be patient you can find steals look on eBay just do your research and you can be in the right place at the right time snag yourself a cheap McDavid jersey just be patient and good things will come so I hope this helped if you have a cool jersey or a jersey collection that you want to show me go ahead and snapchat me or hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions at all let me know I'll try Try to answer them to the best of my ability or I can also ask some of my other Jersey friends maybe if you think oh hey is this fake or is this a good deal just let me know I'm gonna respond to you no matter what but anyways thanks for watching I hope I saved you a little bit of money let me know what your greatest Jersey find is and I'll see you guys in the next video